Hi, I'm Henrietta. Thank you for joining me today for Crafty Kids. For today's craft, we are going to make a snowman using a paper plate. For today's supplies, you'll need emerald glue, scissors, some Sharpie black marker, and pencil. You're going to need one paper plate, some assorted construction paper. You can use the scraps. You need wax paper and yarn. You can use a large paper plate or if you have some small one, that is fine. So you'll see a little um, um, area in your paper plate where you can cut it in the middle, kind of gives it a little design and you can see it in the back. We're gonna go ahead and cut around that line. So we're going to leave the um, paper plate um, the edges, we're not going to cut them off, we're just going to cut the middle section. So fold in half, then you're going to take a look, your scissors, and you're going to go ahead and cut a little piece just to get the scissors through the paper plate. So we made a little um, cut there. and. You So we got that, and if you know the edges are kind of a little bit off, so you can go ahead and take your scissors and fix it. So the body part, you'll also notice there's some edges that needs to be cleaned off, so we're gonna go ahead and take your scissors and just trim where you see little parts that are not even. <clears throat> so once we're done, <clears throat> go ahead and turn it around. So we're gonna use the back side, not the front. We're gonna use the back side. Then you're gonna take some wax paper, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a circle. And probably between half of, if you see the um, paper plate, you're gonna go ahead and cut that circle you made. Okay, so you're gonna turn it upside down, and we're gonna go ahead and glue the wax paper onto the paper plate, get your Elmer's glue, and you're gonna go ahead and dab some glue on there. You're gonna take your wax paper that you cut out, and you're gonna go ahead and place that where you put the glue. So this will be the body of Olaf. You're gonna go ahead and take the face, <clears throat> and um, we're gonna go ahead and design a face. You can use a pencil, <clears throat> give it some eyebrows. Then we'll go ahead, don't worry about the eyes, we're gonna go ahead and cut out a construction paper with that. You can use a crayon if you don't have a Sharpie at home. Once you're done, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and mm, I guess I don't have no orange, but we'll use um, red. Go ahead and we'll cut a nose. Grab some glue and then go ahead and place that sideways. Okay, and go ahead and do the mouth, the lips, make the bottom lips. Then we'll go ahead and give it some teeth. <coughs> Get some glue, dab it on there, and we're gonna go ahead and place it. We'll go ahead and make three, or you can do four buttons. Take a brown construction paper, and we're gonna go ahead and do some arms. We're gonna do the hair. You can get some glue. We're gonna put it underneath the head. Your brown construction paper you're going to fold in half. That way we can make two arms. Okay, go ahead and dab some glue. I'm going to go ahead and put it underneath the plate. Okay. Okay, we're going to give it two feet. So get some white paper. First I'll make sure everything's all dried up. Okay, I'm going to take some yarn, 
I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. And we're going to go ahead and glue the yarn onto the paper plate. So if you can hang it on your wall for decorations, then you can go ahead and do the other side. We'll go ahead and trim this down. That scrap paper from the feet that we did. We can hide the yarn underneath the paper. And then you can hang your Olaf. Thank you again for joining me for Crafty Kids. Please stop by our library, give us a call, or go to our website and request for a craft kit. You get some construction paper, a large paper plate, and some wax paper, and a piece of yarn. Again, thank you for joining me for Crafty Kids, and we'll see you next time.